You guys probably know by now because I feel like I've said it in every single video since it happened the barn is closed and I'm pretty much the only one out here I'm still letting the girl that does chores a couple days a week come out here and do her thing today she is gonna be out here so I don't have to do chores which will be wonderful because I have a lot of activities planned for today it's definitely a lot different not having anyone out here not having any lessons to do <laughs> moving a little bit slower kind of working on things that the barn needs done that always get put off um and just kind of enjoying being around the horses and honestly just doing whatever i feel like doing i'm gonna get their beet pulp soaking and then i think i'm gonna rain cores athena So Coors is really out of shape, so I'm gonna lunge him because since he hasn't done anything, he's also gonna be fresh. So I'm gonna give him a good lunge and then I'm just gonna hop on him and do like walk trot and just kind of get him back in shape. Hopefully if I can keep riding him, but riding him once a month isn't gonna do it. So uh, we'll see, gotta start somewhere. So I put Slu in the indoor for a little bit so that he can get some turnout time. Um, uh, hi buddy. I haven't really wanted to talk about this, but we suspect that he tore his tendon sheath in his back right leg. Um, so he's getting some time off. We did like three weeks of cold hosing and poulticine and then I think he gets three months off total. So he's just kind of hanging out right now. We're like, a little over a month into his rest it sucks it's really frustrating um especially since last summer he got kicked and he uh, fractured his splint bone he recovered really well from that and he was going great again i'm assuming that he did something again in the pasture and hurt himself again so it really sucks for those of you that don't know i've had slew since he was five and he's i think gonna be 19 this year so I've, i know this horse pretty well and it's really unusual for him to get like these kinds of injuries because we've made it what 13 years and never had anything like this i'm gonna rehab him from this and see what we have but he's he's getting close to retirement he'll probably retire this year which i don't want to happen but he's a good boy and he deserves some rest and i don't want to push him i think his body is done i love him so this is not the best angle for a human it's a cute angle for a horsey because you guys are just cute he never shuts his mouth all the way i don't think his body was made right his lips aren't big enough 
<laughs> Snowy, I want you to get better. And I want you to to um be be 14 years younger again. I want you to be five again. I would do a way better job with you this time. Cause I kinda know what I'm doing now. <laughs> He's using me as a headrest. I hate when he does this because his head is so heavy. <laughs> Are you ready for breakfast? I am. Maybe one day you guys should make me breakfast instead of me doing all the work all the time. Why right by the wall? What is wrong with you animals? Slowly! So our next task is to get the donkey inside. That way the pasture that he's in will be empty and we'll be able to get all of the hay that is up by the king out. Come on, donkey.
he's been out with these guys before. They just haven't seen him in a while. That was a workout. I did it as quick as I could because I was trying to beat my dad before I got down here at the tractor. So I did this in like 15 or 20 minutes. It's not perfect, but it's quite a bit better than it was. La poop. My face is so red. I worked so hard getting that poop out. But anyways, I got the hard part for myself done. So now I get to sit in the air conditioning and wait for my dad to dump all of the hay that is up in this front pasture into the RTP. So turns out I'm much better at scooping the hay up than my dad was, so I lied, the hard part was not done for me. This is literally so much work. I was thinking if we would be done in like an hour. It's been almost two hours and uh, there's still quite a bit to do, so I'm gonna put my camera up for a little bit. I'm gonna grab a little snack and then get back to work. My face is getting sunburned, and so is my shoulder. So that will be fun tonight. I think I'll probably vlog again tomorrow since I've barely ridden any horses and it's more been like construction time with Stephanie. So I'll probably vlog again tomorrow. So I didn't even end up taking a nap. I closed my eyes for about five minutes and then I ate a sandwich. And then I came back out here. And now I am about to lunge. hospital because of the whole corona thing I'm just trying to be smart about when I get on the horse or when I get on the greener horses um, you know because I can't I don't want to need to go to the hospital and waste their resources and then I really put myself uh, you know at risk for getting the corona and it's just really not a good time to fall off a horse right now so I'm trying to be really careful um, of course, I mean they're horses, so there's only so much you can control, but the things that I can control, I'm trying to like make sure I don't put myself in even more of a risk than I need to, because I don't want to need to go to the hospital. Hi, buddy. Don't bite me, please. I have a sunburn. Ah, Geronimo! You can't bite people. I'm just gonna get the horses fed and call it a freaking day. It is a new day and I'm in a much better mood. I got some rest. I was so exhausted last night and it showed. I was in like toddler mode. I could not function. So anyways, I wasn't gonna start vlogging until after I was done with chores. I'm only about halfway done right now. Um, 
but I woke up this morning and I thought of a way that Riley could come see her pony or like any of the boarders could come see their horses. I know Riley is really missing Flash and this has been really hard on her because she practically lives at the barn and now it's just, it was just like ripped away from her and she can't, you know, she hasn't been out here since this all started and I know it's, it's been really hard, but I thought of a way that she could come see Flash and it should be, unless I'm missing something, it should be completely safe. I think she's gonna be really excited. Her mom's gonna bring her out here in a few minutes and she's not telling Riley where she's going. She's just gonna bring her out here and let it be a surprise for her. My idea was to put Flash in the outdoor and then grab Riley's grooming box and a few other things that she may need and then disinfect everything after I sat it outside. I got everything disinfected. Then she'd be able to crawl through the fence and see her pony without touching or coming into contact with anything that could be infected. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have just disinfected the gate and she could have went into the arena like a normal human, but whatever, it worked out. Riley got to see Flash today. I felt like a stalker because I watched a little bit from Kane's stall because I didn't want to go out there. I didn't want like Brittany to run up to me because she's so young, she doesn't understand like really what's going on, I doubt. So I was scared to go out there because I didn't want to like have any contact with them um, just to keep them safe on, on the off chance that I might like have the corona and just not have any symptoms. But I haven't been anywhere so I doubt I have it. But yeah, I watched a little bit from the stall. It just looked so happy out there. Definitely made my heart happy. It's something that was really needed. I instacarted some groceries, so hopefully they don't have the corona on them. Got my groceries put away and I washed my hands. So hopefully I don't get the corona. You need to slow down. You need to slow down and have manners. Is that good? I don't know if you've ever had a carrot before. Thunder, let go of the string. Let go. It. So it's like really windy out right now, like insanely windy, and uh, it sounds like the whole barn's gonna collapse when you're in the indoor. So I'm gonna hold off on riding horses right now, and I think I'm going to work on the pasture again. My dad cleaned the windows on the side by side and you can actually see out the freaking windows. Who knew if you clean something you can see out of it? Cause like, I'm not even gonna lie, half the time I don't really know where I'm going in this. I'm just kind of driving around because I can't see, so. I'm gonna get feed pans and then I'm gonna get feet pulp soaking and it's still freaking windy out. <sighs> I hate 
that when it's like really nice out, it's also stupid windy. And then it's like horses and wind don't mix. Do you like hear that? Imagine that times 100 in our indoor. It literally sounds like it's hurricane now. I don't know what a hurricane sounds like, but if I had to imagine, that's what it would sound like. Hand it to me, please. I need it. Pablo, I need it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> me for his his friends so I guess I'm not I'm not his true friend Wow I'm gonna put thunder in the outdoor for a little bit. So Bacardi is also pretty out of shape. You kind of just got thrown to the side for a little bit. Okay, you're gonna get um, electrocuted if you keep messing with the light switches. He's gonna have a pretty easy day. You are so freaking cute. Hello, I'm right here. I'm in such poor shape, like, I I can't even, like, barely stay with the horse at a posting trot right now because I have, like, no muscle at all anymore. I just have not been riding nearly enough. Bacardi really did a number on this wash stall. I'm gonna have a super fun- <laughs>
tomorrow problem because I am tired and I'm hungry. I feel like I say that in every single vlog. I don't feel like putting any more effort into it, so I'm gonna call it quits. I'll try and vlog, try and vlog another time during quarantine when I actually have more time to ride, but I mean, this is honestly what I've been up to right now, so I wanted it to be like realistic and not just put on an act and be like, oh yeah, I'm writing so much right now because I'm not. You know, there's a, there's a lot of other things that need to be done around the barn and right now is the perfect opportunity to do them. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs>